Hi, my name is Favor. Welcome to my channel. It's our Fenwick Life. Today, I have my very first ever Nordstrom Anniversary Sale haul. <laughs> um, I'm actually new to Nordstrom. Uh, I didn't start shopping there until last year. Uh, it's, it has quickly become one of my most favorite places to shop. Um, typically, it's not really in my price range. So not everything. I mean, there are a lot of like Caslon and BP. There's a couple of brands that are really very affordable at Nordstrom. But uh, typically I buy only when things are on sale and only when things are marked down, that kind of thing from Nordstrom uh, for the nicer brands. Now I am a bargain shopper. Most of you, if you watch me, you know that I am one who doesn't really spend a lot on clothing. Um, but I have also mentioned many times that pieces of quality, pieces that stay in style, uh, don't go in, out of style or, you know, don't have a, you know, uh, they don't really go out of style. Uh, those pieces, I will invest a little bit more in quality, especially if they will last for many years to come. So that having been said, keep that in mind as you're watching this haul. I did not purchase a ton. I purchased some basics, some staples, and one splurgy item, two splurgy items that I'm very excited about that I have wanted for many years, or not, not many years, that's not true. I've wanted them for at least two years, maybe three, since starting to watch YouTube. Um, you guys know some of my biggest influencers are Marnie Goldberg, Miss Crystal, and um, Lisa as the 09. <laughs> Those are three, really three of my biggest influencers as far as clothing. Um, I love to watch their hauls. I love all their style. I love their style. Um, so those are typically who I take my cues from, um, especially Marnie Goldberg. She and I are very similar in height. Um, and um, but uh, Lisa, Lisa is more closer to my style. And uh, Miss Crystal, she just she always pairs things so beautifully. All three of them do. Anyway, I'll link their channels below. And um, anyway, so I will link as much as I can below. We'll start with this top. It is not in the sale. This is a Vince Camuto top. It was at Nordstrom one day when we were visiting prior to the sale. And my husband loved it and pointed it out to me and asked me to please take it home that day. It's very comfortable, Vince Camuto. Uh, runs large, uh, especially if you're petite, it runs really large. This is a small. I am normally a medium. Medium is typically what I wear in everything. So, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we will start with my number one most recommended item, and that is this. This is the Barefoot Dreams Circle Cardigan. I have wanted this beautiful cardigan for a couple of years now, ever since I saw Marnie Goldberg put it in her Nordstrom sale recommendation and haul and anyway, um, it, is a, it is an investment piece for me on the sale price, regular price is $116 and it is on sale for uh, $79, $75, I'm going to put the correct price right here. Um, and it is buttery soft, it is incredibly soft. Um, I am so happy to actually have this. I have worn it, even though the tag is still on, I have worn it around the house a little bit just to make sure it was comfortable and what I wanted. Um, because I'm short, uh, it does run a little longer on me. I'm five foot three. Just, I can't recommend it enough. I did pick it up in the charcoal color um, and I did pick it up in a medium, which, you know, is true to my size. So it's great to wear out of the house. It's very comfortable and soft. They have another one in the sale that's longer and uh, kind of a square cut cardigan, which I fell in love with, especially the navy one with the stripe. Absolutely fell in love with it. But on me, it looked like a robe because it's so long on me. It just, it didn't look, it didn't look like something you would wear out of the house. And for this type of piece, I have to be able to wear it out of the house at this price point. And I will definitely wear this. This will be my cardigan for the year. Um, I don't intend to purchase any other cardigans except for I did pick this up in the other color. And here it is in the other color. It's a blue, like a heathered bluish gray color. It's really, really pretty. So very soft. So now I have a gray one and one for 
other colors, or more gray, one for like different colors I may be wearing besides just this. Um, and I'm very excited about it and I will be able to keep these for years to come. Leggings. Now, I'm a runner, but I do not intend to run in these, although I think that you could. Um, it's often too hot here in Texas to really run in leggings. It needs to be in the 30s or 40s to really warrant a legging. Otherwise, I typically run in shorts. These are nice and thick. These are the Zella. Uh, Zella mm, Medium Support Live-In Leggings. I did get them in cropped because that's what I prefer. Um, and in crop, these are a true crop legging on me. So they actually hit where they're supposed to hit between the ankle and the lower underneath your calf muscle. So they hit me perfectly and I didn't even buy the petite. So I'm very excited. I did get two pair of these. They are on sale in the Nordstrom sale. They hold everything in, but not uncomfortably. Um, I probably could have gotten a small in these, but I really wanted them to be super comfortable. So I got a medium. I use these to wear around the house. I use them to wear to the grocery store. <laughs> um, I use, I just, I love leggings. Um, I have a nice pair of leggings that I wear when I need to look nice. These are just for casual comfort. Um, you could do yoga in them. You could certainly run in them. But, um, you know, like I said, I don't, I won't do that. I will just wear them around the house or wear them to, you know, run errands or whatever. So I really recommend them. Uh, they were 35 in the sale and worth it. Um, my Under Armour leggings that I pick up picked up last year to run in were in the $70 range. So this is a steal run. This is one of the items that I bought two of them because I wanted to make sure I had them, you know, in case I put a hole in them or they wear or whatever. I <laughs> wanted to make sure I had them. Another Caslon. Here you go. I just love this. Look at this. It's a circle hem high low Caslon top. It's so, so pretty. I'm so excited. Uh, I will wear this with leggings. They were out of the blue, the black, so I picked it up in navy. Fine, I'll wear the navy with the black leggings. I don't care. Um, I'll also wear it with jeans. Um, it's a lightweight knit. It's just a very lightweight, thin material, which is perfect for Texas. Um, and maybe perfect for a lot of you in the fall. This would be appropriate for fall and winter and early spring for us here in Texas. So I figured I would get a lot of use out of it. I really, really like the uh, uneven stripes. <laughs> I just like that. I just really think it's a pretty little top. Made me very happy. The uh, Another item I picked up, this is a Caslon V-neck pocketed tee. I just loved the color. This is a yellow and white stripe. It's just so happy and so pretty and we cruise a lot and I just wanted something lightweight to wear on the ship or even wear around the house or wear out. Um, and I really like the yellow and white color and the, the thickness of this shirt. It's not, um, goodness, my hair. It's not uh, too thick, but it's also not too thin and I am so into stripes right now. I don't know what that is. Me and stripes are having a season at the moment. Uh, so there you go. Um, this is a medium. Caslon tends to run a little big. So uh, I went ahead and got it medium because I wanted it slouchy and loose. But if you want it fitted, you might want to size down. Just popping in. Something else came in that I had forgotten I ordered from the sale. It's a little big, but this is a Caslon sweater. Shocking Caslon dolman sleeve. Lightweight. It's not a long sweater, but it's not short. Um, so there you go. It is a bit big. This is a medium and I might could have gone with a small, so I don't know, but, um, I don't want to exchange it. I actually kind of like that it's oversized and big. Um, it'll be nice for a cooler day, but not a cold day. Um, so nice to pull up the sleeves if it gets warm and it still looks cute. So there you go. So I just wanted to throw that in there. This is one of my splurgy items. I went back and forth and back and forth on this little bag. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do about it. I even ordered a couple of other bags from Amazon that are leather to see if I liked them better because of the price of this one. This is in the Nordstrom sale for $98, which is well more than I would ever spend on a bag. Pretty much well more than I would ever spend on anything. But I am looking for the purse. The purse for me to carry everywhere even when i travel not on cruises because i wouldn't want to take this in port but when we do land-based travel and things like that i'm looking for a nicer non-tropical purse to go with me this one is it 
Let me show you the merits of this purse. First of all, it's cute with the tassel, but if the tassel is too big and too cumbersome, it comes off. You can, you can take it right off, no big deal. It is a crossbody. I do have the strap still covered because I, that's me. If I'm a commitment phobe, phobe when it comes to nicer quality things. So realistically, it's gonna be my husband forcing me to take this off and accept that I'm keeping the bag. Okay, so it has a pocket on the outside that snaps shut by magnetized snap, and then it opens up, and here on the inside is a zipper pocket and two slide pockets. That's excellent. And then here on the top, it zips open, which is where I would keep my valuables, you know, your expensive things. And look at the size of that. It's massive. It's very, very large. Now, obviously, you wouldn't fill it to the brim because you're not going to carry the purse like this. So it folds over and closes. It has a snap closure. But one of my requirements for a travel bag is it has to have a zipper closure. But I also want this to wear and use every day here at the house, here at home. But let me show you the biggest feature about this bag that I appreciate. So we travel Spirit Airlines and they are, are very restrictive with their bag size. I need a flat pack purse so when I get to my destination, it hasn't taken up much room in my bag and when I get to my destination, I can pull out my purse and I've got my purse. Do you see the zipper here? Do you see how thin this bag is? It folds up flat, but then when you're where you need to be, if you need more space in your bag, if you're carrying a camera and equipment like I am, look, this bag is ideal. It is perfect for me. So when I saw it in the sale, I jumped on it. It comes in this pebble color, um, black, a burgundy color, and a blush color. Um, and I picked up the pebble color because this is a seasonal, an all season color. I just absolutely love it. It is, smells heavenly, it's good quality. I think it will travel well with me. It's a crossbody and it's the perfect size. It's not too big and not too small and it packs flat. It meets all the requirements. So I just need to accept the fact that I'm keeping it and that I love it and that it's okay that it was this much money because I'm going to use it for a very long time. It seems very, you know, something that'll stay in style. It doesn't seem very uh, trendy, so I think it'll be just fine. I think the only trendy feature is like the tassel. And again, that disconnects if, if you ever change your mind, but right now I really like it. <laughs> there you go. I did pick up two makeup items. The Char Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pink Duo lip liner, it's actually a trio, two lips, lippies and a lips uh, liner. Uh, I was very excited to get this. I am a big fan of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I only have one um, in the, the, it's like a soft matte in the Pillow Talk. So this was like, oh, if you could only know it's been one of those days. <laughs> Um, this was, this is, I, all the beauty vloggers are recommending it, bloggers, vloggers are recommending it, and you're going to hear it from me too, because I absolutely love it. I am not a beauty expert at all, but I do love this lipstick. It's what I'm wearing now. I'm wearing the glossy one. It's not a glossy one. It's just not matte. Um, and their mattes are a comfort matte. They're not that dry, flaky, they're not that. No, um, I actually do not like a shiny lipstick. I don't like lip gloss, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it's just not my most favorite. Let me get this out of here for you. So here is Rosy Kiss. You can see this is a matte. It's just a beautiful neutral rosy color. I really, really like it. This one is in Blushing Dream. It is such a pretty, delicate pink. It is what I'm wearing. Um, my lips, this is the color it comes out. I really, really like it. And then the lip liner in uh, Pillow Talk, which is a common, it, you know, it's like her bestseller or something from what I understand from everyone. I'm not really big on wearing lip liner. It's not really something I do, but I'm glad to have this one, which is the only one I have, the only lip liner I have to kind of get me through if I ever need one. And this is not in the sale. This is a recommendation by Marnie Goldberg. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. Oops, you can see my camera there. <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium Skin 
perfecting micro powder. Um, I have tried it. I do like it. Mm -hmm. It's it's a good one uh, for my aging skin. I even used it under my eyes and it wasn't a problem. So it's a keeper now. So there you go. I did pick up an additional uh, charcoal Barefoot Dreams cardigan to give my daughter-in-law for Christmas um, because my son saw it and thought she would really like it. So uh, this is a good time to pick up gifts for loved ones. In my boxes, I got a lot of perfume samples. It was a little thing that came with it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures here of the things I'm not showing you. Um, two of the things are on their way, <laughs> and one of them um, I just really don't wanna show you. <laughs> um, the Notori bras are on sale in the Nordstrom sale. It is my go-to, of course recommended by Marnie Goldberg. They are my go-to, they are my favorite, they are what I recommend, they're very comfortable, they are durable. Also, the Vince Camuto booty. <gasps> oh. I went back and forth and back and forth on this booty. I really appreciate that it came in wide. I have a wide foot being a runner in particular. My foot has splayed out over time. I think that comes with age. I don't know, but it's wide and I'm very excited. So I did pick them up in two colors. Once they arrive, I will decide which color I will keep. I picked them up in the black and the like gray color. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And I will pick one and send the other one back. So Nordstrom has a very nice return policy. I hi <laughs> my battery, my camera died. I highly recommend you pick up, if you're not sure what size in something, pick up two, have it sent to you or whatever, and then you can send it back. Um, it's just, if you wait, you might not be able to get your item, it might be sold out. So um, I recommend grabbing both two different colors, two different sizes, two different whatever. Um, that way you have it and you can send back the one that doesn't fit or work or isn't your choice, um, if you have the budget for that. Um, so I made sure I had the budget for that this year. Um, I prepared for the anniversary sale. I watched everybody's sale hauls and you know purchases last year and I was just drooling over it. I was so excited for this one this year. So. Anyway, I do have a Nordstrom card. Um, I, I did have early access. I was really appreciative of that. I really appreciated it. Um, so I, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I was able to do that. Um, so there you go. That's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm a little talkative, I, I know. And this is my first, first Nordstrom anniversary sale haul, so I was a little excited. So uh, I'll get better at posting this kind of thing. So um, I'm not real... Uh, it's not my normal thing to post this kind of clothing haul and stuff like that, so I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join us on our weekly vlogs and our travel vlogs, and I also do Stitch Fix and unboxings and things like that. We're just a variety of things here on this channel. So we hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll stick around. Welcome to new friends, and we will see you next time. Bye.